All right, so I am doing my nails. I cut them down, I'm gonna file them. I'm gonna leave them this low. I'm just gonna put some gel nail over them. That's really cute. I did my toes just a while ago. Look how cute those came out. Those came out really cute. And um, let's see here real quick. I'm going to tell you a story about the time I was at the store and it got robbed. And I was, was I 17? Okay, I was 17 years old. I was 17 years old and I was working at a law firm. And <laughs> I, I, that was just like, okay, no, you know what? I was actually 18. I just turned 18 that year. Um, because I was really excited and I had already finished high school and I had got a job that I was working no weekends, um, no weekends at all. And I was just working Monday through Friday. And I, during that time I was balling, like that was like balling money because when I would see that paycheck, I'd be like, well. This is incredible. Now, let me tell you how much the paycheck was. Paycheck was like 300, 350 a week. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe 400. I can't remember. I have to do the calculations on it or whatever to see uh, what my hourly was and how much I was getting paid for 40 hours. But I was doing my whole 40 hours and it was downtown in Houston. And, um, really enjoyed that job and because I had the weekends off. I had the weekends off and it was an office job and I didn't have to worry too much. I knew, I knew that Monday was work and Friday was off getting, getting ready to go home. Well, um, on my way to work one morning, I was carpooling and I can't remember how it went, but um, okay, yeah. So I was carpooling that morning and I had a friend who was going to be dropping me off at work because my car was in the shop and I think I was getting tires that day. It was like tires. I left my car to get tires put on and I was going to pick it back up during lunch hour. And I wanted all brand new tires, but I didn't want to have to miss work. So, at the law firm, I was always responsible for getting the Houston Chronicle newspaper. And the Houston Chronicle was a really good newspaper that, well, it's still around now, but um, I was responsible for getting the newspaper. And the attorney um, that was there, one of the attorneys, he would get the newspaper every opposite day that I don't get the newspaper. So, so like, let's say Monday, I get the newspaper, then he get it on Tuesday, then I get it on Wednesday you know, so forth. And then vice versa, the next week it'll be, you know, he get it three times a week and then I get it two times out of the week. And my favorite part of the newspaper, and I kid you not, was the obituary section. And the reason why I liked reading that area, because I wanted to know like what people left behind in their communications, like if they wanted to say, hey, um, you know, I lived a long life. I would, I had this degree. I was curious to know what like, people did in their life. Like, did they go to school? Did they travel? What were they doing? So I was reading all these people obituaries. And one day, one of my coworkers was like, what are you doing? Like, what are you reading? <laughs> and I was like, the obituaries. <laughs> they probably thought I was some weird person. Um, but they never told me, you know, that was weird. But I was always reading the obituary section just to see, like, who broadcasted, um, you know, their loved one and what their loved one did. And it was some really interesting people that was in that area and what they did in life. So I was one that read. So it wasn't just published for nothing. Um, also, so that morning I was stopping at the gas station. Um, my carpooler, she was getting gas and I was going in to go get the newspaper and I was going to get me, grab me something like, um, for breakfast, so I was gonna grab like a, a drink and 
some other little stuff to have as snacks at work because I might have been running to the tire shop for lunch and to pick up my car. So I um, I was in the store, then all of a sudden, it was a guy in there and he was arguing with the guy behind the counter and the guy behind the counter was like, I think he was saying he was stealing or something like that. And it was in commotion. By this time, I'm way in the back of the store in a cooler area about to, um, about to get something to drink. And so I'm looking at all the drinks and I'm like, okay, that, that's a great drink, but I'm still hearing it with commotion going on, like loud talking. And I'm like, oh my gosh. Then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, <laughs> the guy locks the door to the store. Like the guy behind the counter locks the door to the store. And so the, the guy that was uh, stealing, he was like, let me out of the store right now, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to tear everything up. And I was like, I'm the only person that's in the store at that time. And I have all my little snacks in my hand. I'm finished following my nails, by the way. I'm going to get ready to start painting them. I like to take an alcohol pad and just dry them out real quick. So let me do that. Get my little towel over. And um, let me get an alcohol pad real quick. Okay. So then I... What was that? Okay. So then I was with all my snacks in my hand. And the guy was like, I'm not gonna let you go. I'm calling the police. And I don't think the guy called the police because I'll get to that part later. But anyway, I'm with all my snacks in my hand. By this time, the door is locked and it happens so fast. Like literally, I, <laughs> I was just in shock. The guy, the one that was stealing, he grabs the big chip stand. It was like chips. For at that time, chips was like 25 cents or was it 35 cents? It was real cheap for a bag of chips, but all those chips went flying. And then by that time, I was like, oh, crap. I was like, it is going down. I need to get out of here. This newspaper and oh, the newspaper. I hadn't even picked that up yet because I was like, oh, my gosh, I probably would have, <laughs> probably would have just ran out the store with the newspaper. <laughs> but because I didn't want to have to be the one to explain when I get to work that I didn't get the newspaper. And I remind you that I was carpooling and I probably wouldn't have been able to get a newspaper because I would have had to tell my carpooler to, um, if she could, you know, stop for me to get a newspaper. So anyway, I drop all the stuff and I, I set it down like on the ice cream cooler. That's where I put it at. I put everything down on the ice cream cooler and I go run to the door to go tell them like, I'm like, hey, hey, I'm, I'm beating on the door and I'm telling her what's going on in the store. I'm seeing her outside and she's looking up, like, not even in my direction, just looking like up the sky and stuff and pumping gas, like in La La Land. I was, I was so mad. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, oh my gosh. And so I'm beating on the door. I'm like, hey, 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 I'm jumping up and down. Then I turn around, I turn around, and literally, the guys are tussling on the floor. The guy then came, the, the store owner, then came from behind the counter, and he is trying to give the guy a butt whooping. But the butt whooping was not going good at all, like at all. And the guy, the guy that was stealing stuff, he was like, I'm going to kill you. And by this time, the guy get the guy that was stealing, he get on top of the guy. And he started punching him. And he was like, I'm going to kill you. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, do I hit him with something? And I'm like, let me just stay out of this. So by this time, I go check the other door because there's two doors. I go check the other door. And the other door is locked also. And I'm not about to go behind the counter. So I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, and when I was at the door, I was like, help, help, help. Nobody was looking up. Nobody. And everybody was at gas pumps, even on the other side. Everybody was at gas pumps. And I'm like, this, like, this store would be crowded in the morning time. And I'm pretty sure some people came up to the door when I wasn't looking. 
and was trying to get in, probably beating on the door, but nobody was trying to come in, like standing there. They probably just walked away and minded their own business. But so by this the time, they're tussling on the floor, and I'm thinking that this guy that's still robbing the, well, he's stealing in the store. I'm thinking that he's about to win this fight, and I'm about to be stuck in a store with him. And this was going to be something scary. So then by this time, I go run to the back. I'm looking for an exit door, maybe like an emergency exit door. Well, I find this big old thing of um, sodas just piled up, like boxes and boxes of soda. And I'm thinking that's what the emergency door was in. <laughs> so then I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to lock myself in the bathroom. And I didn't have a, like, nobody was really with cell phones. And so I didn't have my cell phone on me. I don't even think I had a cell phone at that time. Um, <laughs> we still had house phones. So I'm sitting up here. I'm, I'm just like, oh my gosh. I'm like, I am going to be next <laughs> with this violent man that's going crazy in the store, throwing stuff around. And now they're tussling on the floor. What next? So I just put the gel on my nails. Look how cute that is. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cure them now. So I go and I go check the restroom. The restroom door is locked. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to do. Then all of a sudden, the guy, they get up and they're cussing each other out. And they're both huffing and puffing like they didn't had a, a really tussle. Like, and I seen their tussle. And I seen who was losing and who was winning. So then... The guy, the owner, of the the person that was working at the store, the owner, whoever it was, he goes, he dusts himself off. And then the guy that was stealing stuff, supposedly, because I don't know if he was stealing or not, he goes throwing some more stuff on the floor, just throwing stuff down. And he went to the cooler where my stuff was sitting. He just throws it down. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm looking for the cooler area. I don't even think he knew I was in there the whole time. They were so busy with each other. Like, it was crazy. Then, the guy, the owner from the store, or the worker, whoever he was, he goes behind the counter and he presses a button. So I'm like, oh, is he calling the cops? I mean, like, the cops never showed up. Never showed up. So all of a sudden, the guy that was throwing everything down on the ground, was like yeah i told you i told you that you was gonna um you can't hold me against my will blah 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 and he swings the door open and all of a sudden the guy is coming in the store and he's like whoa he's like good morning he's like in a chipper move all of a sudden <laughs> a huge clink come through the through the, like the glass just shatter everywhere and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm still in shock. I didn't even leave the store. I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, <laughs> I wasn't going out that door. I forgot it was another door because I was just like in shock. So when the glass break, I was like, oh my gosh, that guy had a gun. He shot the glass. He shot through the window. So I'm ducking now. And then, so the guy behind the counter, he goes, he goes in crazy mode and he goes to, he just goes to acting like he's going to go out there and chase after this guy that then broke the window now. And he started talking real loud. They're both still yelling at each other. Now they're yelling through shattered glass at each other. And come to find out, it was just a big rock he found outside, like a huge rock. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like it was just never ending. So then by that time, you know, the other guy came in the store and he was like, what is going on? He was like, I just got gas. I didn't even know all this was going on in the store. And I'm just looking, I'm like, I was at the window yelling, help. Nobody came. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody came. And all my stuff was on the floor now that I had on top of the ice cream cooler that I was planning on, you know, taking 
it felt like I was locked in that store for about 15 minutes. My carpool. By this time, she's sitting in the car. She's sitting in the car. The cashier guy, owner, whatever he was, he comes back into the store. And I feel a little bit safer because the guy that came in the store was a lot bigger. And I was like, yeah, I was like, I was in here during the whole tussle. And in my head, I was just like, I looked at the store owner or the cashier, whoever he was. And I was like, like, dude, you could have got killed. You could have, I could have been in here stuck with a crazy person. <laughs> it was just a lot. And... So I get my, I get the newspaper, the newspaper was, <laughs> the newspapers was all on the floor. So I just pick up a newspaper and I get a newspaper and I go back and I get all my little stuff that I like, whatever little snacks I was gonna, I had, I think it was like the, I had an orange juice or apple juice or something like that. And then I end up getting, I think it was like a snack cake or something. It was always a, got some kind of little snack if I went to that store. So then the cashier came in he was like are you okay <laughs> no <laughs> no i'm not okay <laughs> but i was like i was in my head i was like no i'm not okay but out loud in person i was like oh my gosh i was like are you okay because i was just i was just mirroring i was still in shock and i was still mirroring mirroring i can't even say that reflecting what he was saying because dude this is my uh finished nail isn't that cute the thumb boop, boop, boop. that is cute so i'm gonna do this nail and i'll be finished but um i was just too through so i go back i go out to the car and out of all days that I'm carpooling, um, my carpooler, she was like, she was like, oh my gosh, she was like, you took a long time in the store. And I was like, um, did you not see me yelling at the window? I was literally yelling for my dear life. I was, this nails, these nails are coming out really pretty. Um, I was yelling for my dear life. Did you not see me beating on the window? The store was getting, I was like, the store was getting robbed. <laughs> she was like, what? And I was like, you didn't see the guy? You didn't hear? And then she was like, you know what? I heard some glass break. And I was like, yeah, that was in the store. It was on the other side, uh, on the other door side that got shattered and stuff. And she was like, oh my gosh. So the office was down the street. And I rode in silence. I get to my job and luckily I was on time and I wasn't late because I just knew I was like, that ride was the quietest ride and that was the most quietest morning and I read that newspaper and <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, that was a story on me being in a store and it it having commotion going down getting robbed whatever you want to call it 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 was a lot <laughs> and uh every time i pass the store is still here to this day and it's not as rough as it was anymore every now and then you have like a homeless person come by there um, one day I was putting air in my tires and I had another incident happen uh, at that store. And my mom always told me, if you meet a crazy person, you just act crazy back with them. Let them know how crazy you are. And literally that's what I had to do. But that story is for another day because um, that gas station always had something going down, I guess. <laughs> 
third time at the same gas station, I gave a lady, uh, she told me she was stranded here and she had to go catch the bus and she had came here and went out on the clubbing scene, blah, blah, blah. And the guy left her and she didn't have a ride back. <sighs> and she was asking me for $5. I felt so bad. I was like, oh, I was like, let me give you $5. Then she was she was like, I'm just rounding up five dollars from everybody and all I need is like five dollars more. Cause she was she said she had saved like forty some dollars and she was gonna go get a ticket. And so I was just I was just shocked. And um I gave her five dollars. And I saw her there the next week later and she didn't know that I knew who she was. And she asked me for five dollars again, same story. And I was like, in my head, I'm like, you still didn't get home? <laughs> but I, I I knew that was a scam. Yeah. And luckily it was only five dollars. But five dollars I hate when I waste my time and I'm told a story and it's a long dragged out story. It didn't mess with your emotion. And then you're asked for money and then it don't be real. But yeah, that was a story about the time the store got the store that I would go to every morning for work got robbed. <laughs> and this is my finished nails. Okay, so now I'm just going, I just put the um very top coat on this try and keep it as even as possible I'm going to get ready to cure my nails the only reason why i like my nails short is because i love that they don't have dirt under them and they're so easy to clean or neat and like if I'm cooking and stuff like that, it's so easy. Or if I'm messing with, um, like I'm out in the field or, and when I say out in the field, like construction, such as real estate construction, I don't have to worry about breaking a nail and opening up combination locks. Like, oh, it's just like a pet peeve when I be having my nails and I have to open up a construction lock or a combination lock or... And I got to put a combo in and it's just like, it, I like to move fast. And if I can't move fast, it's just take up my day. I like to, but yeah, this is the finished look. Isn't that cute? Isn't that so cute? I'm enjoying them. So I'm 60 seconds on this now and then I'm going to alcohol wipe them and then um, use a little cuticle oil. That's about it. I did my toes also. And so, let's see if it. So, fingers and toes to match. Isn't that cute? So, now I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'll be finished. I'm so tired. Oh, <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs>